All right, this is the puller. Uh, we're going to go pull the bearings out of this thing now. This is the attachment to do the rear bearing. We go through the front and put the uh, slug in. There's a piece of blue tape on here to hold it in place a little bit, keep from falling in place so you can do it one person. Fits pretty tight. Fits nice in that front bearing, but it's going to pull through around the back. Poke the tool through. You're going to take the slack up here when you go. And then you got to go put the nut on it. This is a left hand nut, so you got to remember to run backwards on it. Doesn't have to be tight, just run it down. This is the late model uh, style seal assembly. Didn't have this circlip. The earlier ones and most of the 3000, all the 3000, 4000 have this circlip right here. It does require some internal and retaining ring pliers. I have some uh, budget ones I could throw in there in the kit. They're just ground needle nose that'll work. Squeeze them together, squeeze together those holes and get the retaining ring out. Say that's only on the 3000, 4000. After we run that slug in there, take up the slack. We got the donut right here at the back bearing now. Take up the slack, center it up. I use an inch and an eighth pocket. And you're backing out on this. You're going backwards. I just actually went the wrong way. You're going backwards on this and you're pulling it out. Just pop loose. You can tell that was pretty tight. You're beating on it. And there you have it. The spacer tube came out there with it. The seals in there. Most of them pop out with a screwdriver. This one I'm going to go with a claw hammer. Get a hold of it. Get a little penetrant on there, and we're going to go for it. We'll put our tool up here to this side, and we'll go around with the plate on the back side. Plate goes on, step down first. I'll throw an extra washer on there, and your left hand thread. Going backwards. Just hand tight. Same kind of process from the front. Take up the slack, get it centered up in that bearing. Run down the bell until you're squared up. Take up the slack and get it centered up. And same thing, we're going counterclockwise on this one. Good luck popping this out with a rubber hammer like they show on some deal. See? You gotta do some serious driving. I can't imagine using a PVC drift on that. Popping is it bearing coming loose though. You gotta make sure these drain holes are clear. I've got a piece of tool I'm gonna start including in my puller kits. There's two of them, one of them's right here. Punch that through, make sure it's clear. These are in case a little water gets by, you want it to drain. And the other one 
buttons up here, right there. If you use any kind of silicone on the seal when you go in, make sure you don't plug these up. I'll go ahead and put a little bearing, a little grease on the board just to pickle it up. Prevent any corrosion in the future. Not a bunch, just a little bit. The bearing bore is not the seal bore. Just a film on the bearing bores. The other thing I like to mention, you're going to want to pull the, pull the drain boot off. So any crap gets in there, you want to make sure it's clean. This thing acts as a trap. Make sure it gets in your pumps. It's a good, a good idea just to have it clean going together.